That's me, Lance. I tie flies and am the creator of this channel. And today I'm tying a Prince Nymph. If you are a fly junkie or are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. That's me, and this is my vice. In its jaws sits a size 12 TMC 5262 that has a 1 8 inch bead on it. To start the Prince Nymph, wrap a dozen wraps of .015 lead wire around the shank and break the wire tags from the lead wraps. Shove the lead wire into the back of the bead and start the red UTC 70 thread behind the lead wire. Cut the thread tag once the thread has been secured to the shank and continue wrapping the thread to the bend of the hook where the bias will be tied in. Once to the bend, wrap a small bead of thread around the shank to help splay the biots. The bead doesn't have to be very big, just enough to keep the biots separated. As your bobbin hangs below the front of the bead, pull a brown biot from the stem. Place it in your bobbin hand with the tips pointed to the back of the fly. And then with your thumb and index finger, measure it to one half the shank long. At this mark, and with your material hand, grab the biot's tips first with your thumb and index finger. Press the marked point of the biot against the front of the bead of the thread on the near side of the hook and place a light wrap of thread around the biot and hook, tightening only as the thread travels along the last quarter of the wrap. Wrap the biot down to the shank with four or five wraps of thread, then release the biot from your material hand, and bring the thread back to the front of the bead of thread with tight wraps of thread. Repeat this to tie in the far side biot. After both biots have been tied down to the bend of the hook, Continue tightly wrapping the thread around the biots and the hook shank until the thread reaches just behind the lead wire. Without cutting the thread, carefully trim the butts of the biots off the hook. Now that the biots have been completely tied to the shank of the fly, use a pair of old scissors or wire cutters to cut about 4 inches of brassy copper ultra wire from the spool. In your material hand, angle the wire downward against the shank behind the lead wire. Then secure the wire to the shank with a few wraps of thread. Now pull the wire towards the back of the hook until the tip of the wire is just behind the lead. Continue lashing the wire to the near side of the shank with thread to the bend of the hook. Wrap the thread back up the shank to about 9 length behind the bead. Grab a bundle of peacock hurl and pull 6 hurls from it, then trim the tips even. Place the tips of the peacock hurl behind the bead and secure them to the hook with wraps of thread all the way to the bend of the fly. Return the thread behind the bead. After the thread has been returned to the front of the hook, wrap the peacock hurl around the shank to behind the bead of the fly. Using tight wraps of thread, tie off the peacock hurl behind the bead and cut the excess hurl from the fly. Wrap the wire ribbing around the hook to the bead with 6 to 8 evenly spaced wraps around the shank of the fly. Once the wire has been tied off with thread, pull down on the bobbin and helicopter the wire until it breaks off the fly. To create a wing for the Prince now, prepare a hackle feather that has been measured to about one and a half times the hook's gap. And pull all the webby fibers from the stem, then cut the stem to about an eighth of an inch. Secure the stem of hackle, glossy side facing you, 
to behind the bead with tight wraps of thread. Using hackle pliers, secure the tip of the hackle into its teeth. Fold the hackle fibers over the stem from the front of the feather back. Then wrap the folded hackle around the shank two or three times. With a few tight wraps of thread, tie off the hackle, then pull down on the hackle pliers to break the excess hackle from the stem. Now using the fingers of your material hand, Fold and then hold the hackle fibers from the front to the back of the fly. Wrap just enough thread around the fibers behind the bead to allow the fibers to be slightly swept back when the hackle is released from your fingers. Pull two white goose bias from a stem of bias. With the natural curve of the bayet pointed up and the tip sitting just past the bend of the hook, slightly angle the bayet away from the rear of the fly. Place the fingernail of one of your fingers of your material hand on top of the bayet at behind the bead holding the bayet to the top of the fly. Then without lifting your fingernail from the bayet, wrap two to three tight wraps of thread around the hook and bayet to secure it in place. Repeat this for the other horn, but angle the bayet away from you this time. Once the horns have been tied off, lift the butt ends of the bayets up and trim the butts as close to the fly as you can without cutting the thread. Now using a bodkin, dab a bit of head cement to the thread. Then whip finish the fly and cut the thread. This is a Prince Nymph. The Prince Nymph is an old reliable, a classic pattern that has been responsible for millions of fish brought to the net. I want to know in the comments below what are other patterns you consider old reliables. Also, share with us some tips that you use to tie the Prince Nymph. If you like this tying demonstration, check out my Nymph playlist. Or you can watch something YouTube picks for you from my channel below that. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Now go tie an old reliable.